Up until now, players worked from their gut. How do I feel based on their instinct? And now we actually have an opportunity to match the data. What does the data actually say? Overhead cameras track basketball players and baseball relies on advanced metrics. So will data take over tennis next? Two and a half, three years ago, we were really piecemealing together different platforms, third parties, and it was just such a heavy lift to actually put together these scouting reports and deliver what the players need. Video is such a rich source of data, but when you're only looking at video as a coach, you're still missing so many different variables. So artificial intelligence really helps take the coaches out of the video room onto the court with new perspective and tools that they can really offer to their players. So the coaches are gonna be able to look at the individual impact of the movements within a game. So how much energy is spent within a game for each player, but then they're actually also able to look at the cumulative impact of those individual insights. How fast are those players running? How quickly are they stopping? And what's the physiological load on each player? I think it's really reassuring when your coach can validate what they're telling you and what they have been telling you and what you've been working on in practice and say, hey, listen, you know, you executed here just the way we worked on and let's look at some basic KPI so that you can see how that increases your chances of winning. Off the court, these players are dependent on a team of maybe four or five people, but on the court, it's really mano a mano, and it's just one-on-one. -on -one. In most tournaments, there's no coaching allowed, so the player wants to go onto the court with as much clarity in their game plan as possible. The best players in the world have access to great resources, the Roger Federer's, the Rafael Nadal's, but the lower-ranked players, you know, they're, they have a slight disadvantage because they don't have all of the resources. It's really going to enhance the level of coaching that we're able to give and it's going to free coaches up to think a little bit more abstractly and intuitively and focus in areas where they haven't been before. I think the fans will start to realize more and more um, how complex the sport is. You know you watch it you see how physical the game is but when you can quantify a little bit and make that story richer for the fans I think that's huge. I really feel like in three or four years, some form of on-court coaching is gonna be part of professional tennis. And so I think this technology is coming just in time to be able to enhance what we're able to share with our fans.